Hello, I'm Brie. Um, welcome to the December reading. Um, let's go ahead and get started by clearing our space. Oh, got some Palo Santo here. This one's more of a neutral energy as compared to like a sage. Sage is very uplifting to me. Um, Palo Santo's uplifting, don't get me wrong. Actually, I feel more angels around me with the Palo Santo. <laughs> okay. Let me become a conductor to the energy of this upcoming month for everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have some stones with me today. We have a sodalite and fluorite, or communication stones, and a moonstone because um, we have a Cancer full moon coming up, and that's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started with the reading. So I'm gonna pull three cards today. The first is from my Animal Allies deck. Alright, what is in this energy for the next month of December? So, on these cards we have an animal and a crystal, which is kind of cool. So the animal for this upcoming month is the frog. <clears throat> I gently release toxins and unnecessary clutter in my life. I have a clean and clear space. I am blessed with peace, filled relationships. My environment is green. It is my intention to make this planet a better future, uh, a better place for future generations. And then um, the agate. Are you in the process of purifying your body, mind, or spirit? It is time to transform situations that challenge you. It's time to cleanse and purify. Listen to the sounds of nature or make your own sounds and sing. Take the time to walk in the rain, swim in the pool, or soak in the tub. You can change your life through the power of intention using water and sound. This is beautiful. We have a Cancer full moon coming up, which is our water sign. It's at home, finally. Um, it'll be at zero degrees, which is a new beginning for us emotionally to let us just let go of all that old stuff. Um, me personally, in my life, <laughs> at the moment, I'm currently out of, out of working for somebody else, and I'm totally working for myself now, um, so that's brand new and we've had talks about moving and leaving, so maybe some of you out there are, um, on, maybe a lot of us out here are trying to figure out what this new frontier is all about. And we need to take this time to feel ourselves, to just sit with us um, and figure out what you really desire. I wouldn't say we should make huge I, I don't want to say don't make huge moves, but now's the time to be gentle with yourself. Okay, I'm going to pull another card. So now I'm going to pull one from my uh, white witch tarot. I love this deck. It's, the cards are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and give it a shuffle. I'm kind of non-traditional with um, how I pull cards. If you've seen my other video, um, I kind of just split the deck and um, I can feel, I don't know, it's like a spirit thing. It's like there's more energy running through one side than the other, so that's how I choose. Yeah.
Okay, bam. So we got death, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, my boyfriend yesterday was talking with me about how he feels he's already dead inside sometimes. And I think this is quite normal because when you are deciding to go somewhere in life, that becomes a part of yourself. And then when plans change, you have to let that go. And it's almost like killing like your old self, letting go of a different ego and trade to something else. Uh, ego is not completely bad. I think we need it to be in the physical world, but to have an ego that's overextended and and smolders the light that comes out of another person is just unfortunate because it happens, but um, just don't let it drive you. So I love this death card. Um, right in the middle, you can see, oh, can you see it? You can see there's an arm and it's grabbing some kind of, um, like there's hands coming out of the nose spreads to wings, we have snakes all around the border. I forgot what snakes symbolize. If someone remembers, please comment below. Um, but yeah, we just, we need to release what doesn't serve us anymore. And I feel there's a lot of, there's a lot of habits that we're on the verge of breaking that we have been thinking about wanting to change and have been implementing a little bit here and there but that this energy is just really going to help us see ourselves in our higher standards and our best version um, and make us really really sit with that um, All right, let's move on to the next deck. So this next deck is just my white rider deck. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh man, can I go back? Yeah, I can go back. Oh, pause. Um, there's a poem inside of all of the White Witch Tarot. So let me find the death card and I'll read it to you. Okay. So it's cute. It has a picture of the card and um, little poems. A definition seals the fate. Conclusions only close the gate. Events that cross before your eyes have passed away. I cried and cried. For all the people who have died and saw a giant writhing form that eats itself from night till morn. A sun that burns across the sky. The tears gave way. I realized a circle has no start or end. And all that's gone begins again. Let sorrow go. Rejoice instead. For life itself shall greet the dead. Interesting. I'll let you take that for what it is to you. Let's go ahead and shuffle our white rider. We have our card. We got the nine of pentacles right there. Let's see if I can kind of analyze this um, without looking at the packet first. So 
so it's a woman holding um, a, a quail bird surrounding all these fruits. Looks very earthly. Let's go ahead and see what the booklet says. Oh my gosh, my crown. It's too big for my head. Okay, so the nine of pentacles. Pentacles, where are you? Here we go. Nine of pentacles. Prudence, safety, success, accomplishment, discernment. Sounds a lot like this Capricorn season that we're going to go into. Because the moon's going to clear our baggage. Maybe not completely. That's a lot that has to do with your own um, path and where you are. But it's going to reveal all those emotions. Um, and it's your choice how you go into Capricorn season. But um, looks like if you have discernment about your actions and you put them forth, you're going to have all these fruits. You're going to have lots of grapes for your, for your stomach. <laughs> Um. Oh my gosh, this just gives me hope. I hope it gives you guys some hope too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video out because there's no more coming to me. So, I love you. Bye.